What's going on, people? It's John the Dreamer from JohnTheDreamer.uk. Are you tired of tuning your 808s every time you're trying to make a beat? Let's fix that. Okay, so let me set the scene. You're making a beat and you're at that stage where I need some bass and you start looking through your 808 presets and it looks something like this. And you start spending all this time looking for an 808 and they're all in different pitches. You don't know which one's gonna fit your track. You're just listening for like a tonality or listening for a sort of style that's gonna work well with the track. So you drag this in now and you start using it. And you start playing around with it and you don't know what the tune is. Let me show you a method that how I do my 808s because I hate this process right here. All of this right here, I hate it. So what I usually do is I make it presets for my 808s. Um, I don't make my own samples, but I'll use samples in a preset format. So when I'm going to make that beat, I can just go through them and choose the ones I, you know, that might work. So let me show you how I set mine up. What I'll generally do is I'll go into instruments, right? and I'll find instrument rack. So I'll drag that to a MIDI channel, okay? Now what I do next is I find the sampler, drag the sampler into the instrument rack, okay? And then I go over to audio effects and I'll type in tuner, all right? And I put that inside of it. Now the reason why we use an instrument rack is because what we want to do, the main goal is to save this as something we can always come back to or pull up, all right? So if you see in this bottom tiny corner here, there's a little kind of floppy disk icon. And what that will do is I like to save this now. So this could be called your 808 preset or your 808 preset rack, whatever suits you. Press enter. And now that's saved now. So let's just test it. If we click and drag it into our session view, you can see the rack and everything's been saved. So now that's something we can use. So I'll show you the process of how I tune my 808s or just build a preset. Find a base drag this one into it and now I'll play C on the keyboard it's very important make sure you play C okay this, we're lucky this way away is roughly in C but we see it's a bit out of tune so down here we've got our root key and we've got our D tune so if we move our D tune now and make sure we line up more with the center doesn't have to be perfect but the closer you are the closer you're basically going to be in tune of your song there we go so minus 14 is this 808 make sure you can play from C to C and then once we have that we can save this so we can go to save and we can call this one this is like a chop 808 shout out young chop save that there so now that we save that preset while we're making the beat and we're like okay I need the 808 we can just drag this in straight away and start creating with it knowing that the 808 is already in tune which means that speeds up our workflow speeds up our efficiency we can make quicker beats we can make better beats because we're not spending time trying to get a sample or something in t in tune or in time before we try to use it in a creative manner it's already set for us just to add get your file management in order so just because we've saved these files now doesn't mean we know where they are we need to find a place where we can access them so the best way to do that i find is go over to add folder down here it's going to pull up your finder and what you can do is you can go over to here and press new folder in the location of your choosing and call this airweights or just airweight now that's saved there we can add this folder to our places and what we'll do it will come up in our places here's a little folder here airweights all right now we can go back to where we just had that instrument saved by doing this, what will happen is you've made your own folder in your own directory. Aperton likes to save files in the user library, which is cool, but let's say you need to move your stuff on an external hard drive from a different onto a different computer. You want everything to be with you. So what I like to do is I like to move these presets into my own folder just by clicking drag and drop. And now I know where they are. And you can bring them to the top of your places. So anytime you're making a beat, let's say you're going through stuff here, just go okay, go to my 808s, click and drag. There we go, we're good to go. So when I've got my 808 now, I'm not thinking about, oh, okay, let me just do my housekeeping and get it to work. It's instantly gonna work. And I'm just completely thinking about what bass pattern is gonna work with the rest of my melodies. What's gonna make this beat sound hard. <sighs> so that's your presets. Just to add, after you make a beat and you've saved one, save it for next time. 
you know just keep building up a little pack so you can quickly dip into that little box and use it when you need it to all right guys it's been john the dreamer from john the dreamer.uk until next time